been in Paris a few days, and already there have been surprises. Mom stood me up for dinner tonight. But at least she had a good excuse. I forgot. No, I'm sorry. No, oh my god, I feel awful. Just, I forgot. Put some tea on, would you, sweetheart? Yeah, sure, Mom. And I met this guy. I'm trying to convince myself that he's just a possible new acquaintance. But it's not working. He's French, and he's a waiter. Jean-Luc! No, his name is Laurent, and I've agreed to go out with him tomorrow to see the city. I'm sure I'll have a really great time, as long as I can keep this one little word out of my mind. Vinny. together for a while and then we split up and then we got back together and then we split up again I see like it would Mac <laughs> sort of <laughs> and now now it's kind of in limbo ah. so what about you any girlfriends no girlfriends no I'm afraid that would upset my wife I had a steady girlfriend for two years, but it just didn't work out. Any particular reason? Love is hard. <laughs> it's the truth, isn't it? Yeah. Are you cold? A little. I left my jacket in the car. Okay, I get it. You go over to prep stand and get a hot chocolate. It's wonderful. Okay. I'll be right back. Could I have one hot chocolate, please? Six? Six? No, you look like my friend whose name is Six. It's amazing. Pardon, je ne parle pas anglais. Oh, you don't speak English. Well, I speak no French, so we're even. Um, one. Hot chocolate, please. Two treats. You look so much like her. Hmm? Um, you look, your face, your face is the same as my friend in California. Ah, uh, California, oui. J'ai une cousine qui est San Francisco. Yes, I live in Los Angeles. Yes, um, Los Angeles, uh, Disneyland. Yes, but now you have Euro Disneyland. Oui, mais j'aimerais mieux aller en Californie. You'd probably rather go to the one in California. <laughs> Ça rappelle la petite sujet de Disneyland. Oui. This is a beautiful city. C'est dur pour nos papas la langue. Allez, tu me fais quelque chose. Oh, no, no, thank you. I'm not hungry. Je suis convaincue que c'est ça le cause de la de mes enfants dans la vie. Tu sais, mais mon lieu, il faut de communication. No, really, we ate earlier. I'm stuffed. À mon avis, il est bien possible que nous, les traducteurs, soyons responsables des gars. But, since you're already making it. Par exemple, 
Si ça t'en avait réellement dit que je fais son tel ou quoi, et son traducteur avait dit que je fais son mari ou quoi, tu comprends Are we still talking about lunch here It's a part of my exactly. The sandwich looks delicious. Tu veux mon sandwich Oui, très bon. Tu aurais pu me dire avant que je me sois mise à le parfait quand même. Je mets de la merdeuse, je mets un bijou et tout. Ok, mais il va y avoir un supplément. Ouais. Oui. J'aimerais bien avoir la même chose, s'il vous plaît. Bien sûr, pourquoi pas. Wait to get out of here. I want to go home and go to French movies so I can throw popcorn at the screen. Hey, I met some really nice people here. No, you met the really nice people. There's only six really nice people in the entire country of France, and you met them all. Now I take it you didn't find the place. Nope, this is my last address. Mine too. This has got to be it. Let's do it. Hi, uh, we were wondering... Oh, you've got the package. Hey, take it easy, lady. I'm so sorry. It's just that I have been waiting for you for days. How did you know we're the couriers? By your descriptions. Two young American boys who look really, really lost. That's you, right? Well, I suppose. So, do you have the package? Yeah, it's back at the end. Uh, it's at a safe place. Don't worry. Do you know what I would do to you if I could not get it? No, what? This. <laughs> and this. <laughs> and this. Yes. <laughs> get the picture. Could I see the second one again? Of course. Oh. I got it. I want you to bring it to me right away. <laughs> By that I mean, don't go anywhere else. Don't eat, don't oh. sleep, don't look left or right. Just get it and put it in my hands. Have you got that? What about crossing the streets? I mean, if we don't look left or right, we can be killed. What was that last thing you said? You get killed? Hold. She seems nice, huh? She seems like a lunatic. Who cares? Let's just get her the package and get our money, all right? Okay. Come on, buddy. This way. No, it's this way. What? I want to marry your daughter. This is a formal request. Well, you, you've got some problems, Finny. Uh, 
First of all, you know my feelings about teen marriages. They're doomed. But let's just say that somehow we can get past that. The object of your affection isn't here. She has moved to France. Well, I admit that does complicate things a little. A little. All right, maybe a lot. And I don't even know if she'd say yes if she was here. I just want your blessing before I ask her. Two things, Vinny. First of all, you can't have my blessing. I would rather see you two shoot each other in the foot than get married. Well, don't say I didn't ask, all right? I won't. And second, man to man, it's not cool to ask a girl to marry you by phone or by fax or whatever is going on in that confused head of yours. It should be done in person. I agree. That's what I'm going to do. What? Yeah, I sold my bike this morning. I'm flying to Paris tonight. here and some croissants from the boulangerie. Wow, I should have invited you over a long time ago. <laughs> I don't mind, the rent's cheap. <laughs> well, it looks like another beautiful day outside, huh? Yeah. Um, listen, I'm sorry about yesterday. Why? What happened yesterday? Um, I was out all day and I didn't call. Oh, well, I figured you could take care of yourself. I mean, if you can't find your way home at 15. 16. I'm 16. Oh, <laughs> I got you right. Unbelievable. Of course, I don't know how old I am anymore either. So what are your plans today? Um, well, I was invited to go to the movies, but I'm not sure if I want to go. Mmm. You make great coffee. <laughs> Thank you. So who are you going to the movies with? Well, I was invited by this, this guy I met. <laughs> Wow, that was fast. Yeah, well, actually, I met him while I was waiting for you at that restaurant the other night. Ah, oh, he's a waiter. Yes, his name is Laurent Duvonet. <sighs> Great name, Laurent. <laughs> <laughs> I went out with a guitar player named Laurent for a while. Guitar players tend to have very good hands. <laughs> I'll try to remember that. <laughs> so, what's your problem? Well, um, it's Vinny. I thought you split up with him. I did, but he sort of resurfaced just before I left. Well, run this by me again. What is your real problem? It feels a little like cheating. Cheating. Oh, back up now. Are you going with Vinny or not? Not. Sort of not. And are you sleeping with a French guy? No. Uh, so what time does the movie start? <laughs> Mom, it's, it's not that simple. Look, baby, I, I'd love to help you with this. It's just that I'm lousy with the stuff, too. I mean, my relationships are disasters. Ask your dad. I know. I just thought that maybe you could... I'm sorry, Sugar. Oh, listen, I gotta run. I'll be late for rehearsal. You know, Mom, we do have to talk about what I'm going to do. Well, we will, we will. I mean, there's the whole school situation. When did you become such a worrier? <laughs> I don't know. Listen, I'll tell you what. Later on, we'll do just what Paris was made for. What? Shopping. Did I wake you? No, no, I've been up for hours. <laughs> My God, how are you? I'm good, and you? I'm miserable. <laughs> There's nobody to talk to when I feel like slashing my wrists. That's the spirit? <laughs> so, what are they like? What? What? The French guys. Have you met anybody? Um, well... I knew it. You are amazing. How would you do it? Well, I didn't do anything. I mean, I just met the guy, that's all. Where? 
Well, my mom and I were having dinner at this restaurant where he was a waiter and... Jean-Luc! <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Laurent. How incredibly cool. Is he gorgeous? He's not bad looking. That means he's incredible. So where have you been with him? Well, he showed me all around Paris, which is, like, amazingly beautiful. How old is he? He's 19. Oh, and I met this girl who looks exactly like you, this, this French waitress. Have you met anybody who's not in the food service business? Oh, stop it. So, have you been seeing any of our friends? He was hanging out with your dad. Who? Who? <laughs> Vinny. I wasn't asking you about Vinny. He never even crossed my mind. With my dad? Yeah, I dropped by there the other day to borrow the rest of your clothes, and there he was. Huh. Obviously, he misses you so much that he's willing to hang out with your relatives. Well, he knows my dad likes to talk. Yeah, maybe. My mom dropped by with some coffee cake earlier. She likes to rescue people. <laughs> So what are Tony and Joey up to? I don't know. You know, I haven't seen them in the last couple of days. Why don't you call the house? I will. Soon. So are you going to stay there or what? I think so. You know, six things are going really great. Good. I mean, bad, but good, but, you know. I mean, I miss you. Yeah, I miss you too. Yeah, right. You and Laurent. That's not true. No, it isn't, huh? No. Laurent hasn't mentioned you at all. <laughs> so prepare me. Is it really tough? The coffee cake? It's horrible. I mean, I totally forget they're not here. The house feels so big. I feel that way when Six goes to school. I feel like I'm living in a museum or something. I just walk around all day long missing everybody. In ten minutes, I'll be missing this coffee cake. There's plenty more where this came from. Yeah? You promise to keep me in sweets until at least some of my family return? I promise. If you don't... Die of heartache, I'll be right here to clog your arteries. <laughs> That's very nice. Hey, what are friends for? I'm telling you, Tony, I am not sleeping in the train station again today. Not unless I got a shaved head and a tambourine. You only have 20 bucks left, Joe. Well, I told you I met some really nice girls yesterday. I can't afford them either. There he is again. There's that guy in the hat. I'm telling you, Tony, that guy's been following us. I think you're right, Joe, and it's got to do with this package. I think it's bad news, man. That chick practically tried to kill us for it. But if we don't deliver it, we got no money and no ticket home. Well, maybe we should just find Mom. You'd ask her for help? No, I'd ask her for ticket home. Well, maybe we should just find Mom. You'd ask her for help? I'd ask her if she knew anybody who could help. Then I'd say, ah, reservoir. Let's open it. All right, at least we'll know what we're dealing with. Okay. Go ahead. No way. I don't want to get my fingerprints all over this. Are you kidding me? Your fingerprints are all over this thing. But not my thumb. I never touched it with this little thumb. The identified thumb. Tracy, X-Men. All right, I'll open it. Wait! What? What if this thing is a bomb? The X-ray machine at the airport would have caught it. But what if it's a plastic bomb? You stop it, it's not a bomb. Well, man, maybe it's drugs. This is probably a whole box of heroin or something, you know? And it's even somebody stupid enough to deliver it. That's a possibility. Positive, it's not stamps. Well, there's only one way to find out. Yep. Here goes.
some French waiter. And it's true. Come on. I'm just the woman du jour. No. Maybe more like to the special. You're so sweet. No, you. No, you. You're right. <laughs> I told you. May I kiss you now? I don't know, Laurent. I'm still pretty confused about all this. Maybe this will unconfuse you. Well? Nope. Still confused. It's getting a little clearer. Well, so you made a friend. Finny? 